Hi, welcome to The Alexis Show, a new web series about cooking with tea, only on The Daily Tea. Today, we're making campfire tea ice cream sandwiches that capture the very best moment of summer when you're sitting by that campfire and it's smoky and you have chocolate and marshmallows. I want one right now, so let's just get to going and make it. All right, so Lapsong Souchong Tea Butter. That's what we're gonna use to add the smoke right into the ice cream sandwich cookies. If you're not familiar with Lapsong Souchong Tea, it's a black tea from China that during the final stages of processing is heated and dried over smoked pine needles so it absorbs all of that campfire aroma and flavor so that when you steep it, it's right in your cup. So, to make the butter, you need 10 tablespoons of softened, unsalted butter, and then a Lapsong Souchong tea concentrate. So I heated five tablespoons of water to a boil and steeped three teaspoons of Lapsong Souchong tea for five minutes, and then I strained the leaves. And we actually wanna reserve them because we're gonna chop them later and add them to the butter so they can keep infusing that smoky flavor. And then we have a teaspoon of honey to sweeten everything up. So let's make the butter. Now we're going to chop the Lapsang Souchong tea leaves that we just steeped. So they're gonna be wet, and we wanna give them a rough chop. Add the chopped tea leaves to the butter. We're going to infuse even more smoky flavor. And now we're going to add our Lapsang Souchong tea that is cooled. And then, one teaspoon of honey, and that's just gonna add a nice, sweet flavor to round out the smokiness. And then you just wanna mix it all together. It's gonna to take some time for everything to incorporate. Don't expect all of the tea to be absorbed, but you'll get some of it in there. So just mix, mix and mix. We just finished making our Lapsong Souchong tea butter, put it in an airtight container, and popped it in the fridge to chill. But fortunately, we already have one butter already made, so let's make some ice cream sandwich cookies. So now we're going to add our Lapsong Souchong butter right into the bowl. You want to make sure that it's slightly softened, so you can either leave it out at room temperature or just pop it in the microwave. Then you want to add a half a cup of granulated sugar. Pour that right in. And last but not least, a quarter teaspoon plus an eighth teaspoon of salt. And now we just want to cream it all together until it's light and fluffy. You can use a stand mixer or a hand mixer or you can get a nice arm workout. Mix it all together. Add one half tablespoon of vanilla and one egg yolk and stir until fully combined. The dry ingredients in the ice cream sandwich cookies are one and one third cups all-purpose flour and one third cup plus two tablespoons Dutch processed unsweetened cocoa powder. So, we wanna start by sifting the cocoa powder into the flour so there aren't any lumps. It's gonna add that rich, dark chocolate flavor to the ice cream sandwiches. Okay, so now we're down to the finer particles. We can pour those right on top. And then you just wanna mix the flour and the cocoa powder. And now we wanna add our dry ingredients to our wet ingredients, adding a little bit of the dry ingredients at a time. And then mix. You wanna be careful not to over mix because otherwise the cookies will come out way too hard. Now, you just wanna wrap up your ice cream sandwich cookie dough and put it in the fridge for 30 minutes, no more or less, to chill. Our dough is finished chilling, our oven's preheating, and I'm gonna finish flouring our work surface. The reason you wanna add flour is so that the dough doesn't stick when we're rolling it out. Okay, so I'm gonna unwrap our ice cream sandwich dough. Now, you can tell that there's chocolate in this dough. Perfect. So we just wanna roll it out into a quarter inch thick rectangle. Now that we've rolled out our dough, let's get our baking sheets that we've lined with parchment paper. And now we wanna cut our dough into squares. And 
And now we want to transfer our cut dough onto the parchment lined baking sheets. And now if you're left with a few little scraps, just roll them back together and roll them out and see if you can stretch a few more cookies out of it. And remember, they don't have to be perfect. It's a homemade treat. It's about how they taste. Using a skewer or a thermometer, poke holes into the dough for a classic ice cream sandwich look. Now we're going to bake the ice cream sandwich cookie dough for 16 minutes in the oven. Once they're done baking, you want to let them completely cool so that they don't melt the fluff in the ice cream. We actually already have a batch that's been cooling. And now we're ready to assemble our ice cream sandwiches. So take two cookies, place them on a piece of parchment paper. We're going to add vanilla ice cream and marshmallow spread. Get the full recipe for the Campfire Tea Ice Cream Sandwiches right here on The Daily Tea. And check back soon for more tea-infused episodes of The Alexis Show. If you enjoy this episode, download the recipe for free on The Daily Tea.